Magi in half. Blind change is scary. And then just kind of enlarging the shape that they use, introducing the reverse grip, and the first phase of what a front giant would be. And if you watch the elite kids and the elite coaches work with their athletes on their pirouetting and their turning, a lot of it comes from that type of activity and also from back extension and electric. So these are all really good drills in getting the kids to be able to do these turns. Yeah? What's your theory on which hand do you change for the pirouette versus which hand do you leave as your post? -pirouette? Excellent question, and I've never done any of these lectures without being asked it, so it's a very good question. What we try to do in level four when they're tur learning how to turn off the bar is we establish that at that point, and we establish which direction their blind change will go by which hand they pick up on their half pirouette. So if they pick up their right hand on their half pirouette, we want them to pick up their right hand on their blind change. And it's very simple to explain it to the kids that way. Therefore, when you do a blind change and you put your hand down, that has become the pirouette hand that you would have had to turn in level eight, and you're able to finish the giant fold. Usually it's in the direction that they twist, okay, but sometimes you'll find you know, a, a, a variance to that, but usually it's direction they twist. What we tell our kids to do is, and I tell my compulsory bar coaches, establish the pirouette direction, which hand they're going to pick up on the pirouette, and make sure that that's the hand they're picking up when they do their level four bar dismount. Okay, so trying to think proactively, trying to think like, you know, into the future on bars is very important. Yeah? Are you telling the kids what direction to twist, or is it? We have them do a half pirouette on floor. And just whichever direction they like. Whichever that. direction is comfortable and better is usually going to be the one they gravitate towards. And a half pirouette's a funny one. It's like a jump full turn on floor with your little guys and trying to establish twist direction. One's going to look pretty good and the other's not. <laughs> Okay, and that's the same thing with a pirouette. Their natural side is going to look pretty good even at level three. The other way is not going to look very good at all. And almost every time, that's going to be a very sound way to establish direction. Okay? Good. Excellent question. Again, using the back extension roll as an aid. I can't stress that enough. And it's the reason why the JO committee will not take it out of the floor routines. Some floor coaches go, oh, 